Have you ever thought about buying your first investment property but literally have no idea where to start? Well, good news. Today, we're gonna show you four of the best towns in New Jersey for buying your first investment property, explain why they're a great option, and what you can expect as a return on your investment. Hi, I'm Nikki Tenhove, and I've been a realtor since 2012. My team and I have helped thousands of people just like you buy their first home, upgrade to their dream house, and downsize within and outside New Jersey to be closer to family with hundreds of repeat clients and five-star reviews to prove it. We have a list of 10, yeah, no surprise, non-negotiables that must be reviewed about a property before we identify it as a good investment property, whether for us or for a client. We're not saying the property has to get A pluses for every category, but you need to know how it scores rather than just guessing at it. Number one, a strong job market. A strong local economy and low unemployment rate can attract tenants and provide a stable rental income. Number two, population growth. A town with a growing population can create more demand for housing and increase property values. Number three, low vacancy rates. A low vacancy rate indicates a high demand for rental properties in the area, which could increase the chance of finding tenants quickly and minimize the time property sits vacant. Number five, low crime rates. A safe neighborhood can attract more tenants and provide a sense of security for renters. Number six, good schools. Areas with highly rated schools can attract families, which can increase the demand for rental properties. Number seven, access to amenities. Being close to shopping centers and restaurants, parks, and other amenities can make the location more attractive to tenants. Number eight, proximity to transportation. Easy access to public transportation or major highways can increase the appeal of a rental property, make it more convenient for tenants to commute to work or school. Number nine, affordable property taxes. Low property taxes can help investors maximize their rental income and increase their return on investment. And finally, number 10, landlord-friendly laws. Landlord-friendly laws can help protect an investor's investment and make it easier to manage their property. Make sure you watch our video on towns that banned Airbnbs so you can understand how local landlord rules can really mess up your plans. And last, can you see yourself owning that property? If you have to go collect rent or fix a broken faucet, would you actually go there? Or can you afford a property manager who would? Okay, now that we're on the same page, let's see some options. For purposes of this video, we're assuming a lower budget than some seasoned investors. So we're giving you options based on a maximum budget of 600,000. Number one, Union City. Union City is a medium-sized city in Hudson County that basically sits just up the cliff to the west of Weehawken and Hoboken. It has a growing rental market, offers super easy access to public transportation to New York City, and a diverse community. It has a great 88 out of 100 walk score and great access to the train too. Although it scores a 24 out of 100, 100 being the safest, compared to other communities of similar population size, Union City has a crime rate that is noticeably lower than the average. More importantly to you, the average home price in Union City is around 450,000. Most of the properties in town are multifamily properties from duplexes all the way up to fiveplexes and condo buildings. But you can expect for $600,000 to get a two to four family house built in the early 1900s. Most of this area was built pre-war, so you have to be prepared for homes with some character. These aren't going to be brand new construction, set it and forget it kind of places. But we ran some numbers, and right now for a four family at $600,000, you can expect 4,000 per month in rent. That's roughly a 6.5% cap rate. If you don't know what a cap rate is or how to calculate it, don't worry. We'll cover that in another video and help you do the math. Number two, Hackensack. Hackensack is another medium-sized city, but located in Burton County. It's a bit further from Manhattan, but still has amazing access to mass transit with buses and trains, and is about a 25 to 30 minute commute to the city. Unlike Union City, Hackensack is a mix of both single family residential homes and multi-family buildings. But because of nearby Hackensack Meridian Hospital and plenty of other major businesses, it has a very strong rental market. 
Not quite as walkable as Union City, Hackensack still has a 63 out of 100 walk score, which is above average. And again, the average home price is around $450,000. Because there are more single family neighborhoods in this town, the amount of multifamily options under $600,000 is less. Right now, there are three to four options to buy in that price range. But for about $500,000, you can buy a two family built in the 1960s that's had some renovations done in the past 15 years. A duplex like that would make about 3,500 bucks per month back in rent, returning a 7% cap rate, which is really pretty good. Historically, investors love to see 10% cap rates, but not only have they been nearly impossible to find in New Jersey, pretty much forever, but over the past three years, as real estate values have risen everywhere in places like Arizona and Tennessee, which used to have really high ROIs, are now in line with New Jersey and the rest of the country. The town on our list with the best return on investment is number three, Bloomfield. Bloomfield is a medium-sized town in Essex County with just under 60,000 residents. It was built pre-World War II, so a lot of the homes are older with tons of character. That doesn't mean the heating, cooling, and appliances are that old. So aside from structural concerns, you can alleviate a lot of those emergency calls from tenants by making sure the mechanicals in the house are either newer or regularly serviced. A lot of people get nervous about older homes, but in reality, the phrase, they just don't build them that way anymore, really does apply. In many ways, a 1910 house will last longer than what is being built right now. Okay, back to Bloomfield. It sits a bit further west, and it's about a 40 minute commute to New York, but has bus, train, and light rail access, which makes it very popular. Plus it's a very walkable town, and it's about 10 minutes from Montclair and Newark for some great food and entertainment options. Unlike Montclair, where you need 1 million bucks to break into the market, Bloomfield has multifamily options in the entry level price range. For $575,000, you can buy a three family built in the 1920s with gas heat that will collect about $4,000 per month in rent. That's again between a 6.5 to 7% return on investment. I want to stop here and call attention to a point you may already know. Some people hear that 6% return on investment and go, why would I ever do that when I could put money in the stock market and get 10% year over year on average? The difference is that you're making money four ways with real estate compared to one. First, someone is paying down your mortgage for you. Second, you make a profit every month on top of your mortgage. Third, the property will appreciate in value over time. And lastly, you can depreciate the property, which could allow you to save on taxes every year. That's a topic for another day. Number four, Bayonne. Bayonne is a medium-sized city in Hudson County that sits just below Jersey City and is pretty much surrounded by water. It has a ton of nicknames, from the Oil City to the Jerseyans Brooklyn. It's super close to Manhattan, which is a big draw for people who move here. A large percentage of the population commutes to the city, which can easily be done by bus or light rail, which is pretty much a 45-minute ride. The city itself is home to about 70,000 residents and like Union City is mainly of brownstones and multifamily buildings. As an investor, you could pick up a two family here built in the 1940s that has been recently remodeled for just under $500,000. Let's say each unit is a two bed, one bath. You could bring in around 2,700 bucks a month, landing right around a 5.5% cap rate. Again, pretty good these days for a place purchased under $500,000 and is in a safe area with good schools. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified when we drop an upcoming video specifically on different ways to finance your first investment property if you don't have a ton of cash lying around. This isn't some infomercial or Instagram course showing you how to buy a place with no money, but real options from house hacking to using FHA loans to purchase. So now you know a few great towns to start looking at to find a rental property and what makes them good options so you can find other towns that fit the mold too. If you're ready to buy your first place, click the link below to set up a call with me and my team. We'll ask you a few simple questions to get you one step closer to making money every month.